more than us and life to celebrate. A very good afternoon to all the wonderful people present here today. If the sign on your heart says welcome, the love will come pouring in from everywhere. I feel delighted in welcoming you all on this glorious occasion of the Feast of St. Ignatius of Loyola. I am greatly honored to welcome and introduce the Chief Guest of today's program, Father Anil Dinello S. J. Currently, he is the superior of Fatima Retreat House, Mangaluru. Prior to this, Father was the director of Xavier Southern Training Center, Mysore. Father has served as the director of Mount St. Joseph's Bangalore from School of Social Work, Roshni Nilayana Along with this, Father has a great heart for the poor and the private section of the society. He has worked in the rural areas for many years, especially in Jesuit social work, Mungu. He is a great leader and an administrator. We are indeed privileged to have such a personality among us today.
I will tell you a short story. Okay? But when I tell a short story, all of you will quiet. When I speak, you keep quiet. When you speak, I will keep quiet. Okay? Fine? Okay. For the principal, vice principal, members of the staff, and my dear students. One day, St. Ignatius of Loyola was talking to the students. Next was small, first standard, second standard, fifth standard, ninth standard. He was talking to the students. Who is St. Ignatius of Loyola? Who is he? He is the founder of Jesus. Who is Father Melvin? Is he a Jesuit? No? He no? is a Jesuit. What about me? Am I a Jesuit? Yes. yes. Wonderful. Ignatius of Loyola was talking to the students. And he told them five things. One, two, three, four, five. I will tell you what St. Ignatius told the students. First thing, Ignatius told the students that all Jesuits are praying for your parents. All Jesuits are praying for your parents, for your brothers, for your sisters, for your grandparents. So today, when you go home, are praying for who? For your parents and all at home. You will tell them? So, second thing St. Ignatius told the students is that all the students are precious to us. He said, Dear students, we love you. He said, Did Father Mehmet tell you he loves you? Yes or no? Because we love you because we, you are very precious to us. 
and in cases also told the students that he loves them very much. And today I want to repeat what Ignatius told the students, we also love you so much. Say thank you. And third thing that Ignatius told the students was that, friends, when you are in difficulty, when you are in problem, when you are having some concerns, when you are not well, you come to us. This is told. So I want to tell you, when you are in difficulty, when you did not understand something, when you are not well, you must go to Father Melvin, your teachers in the school. Don't think, what will Father Melvin will think about me? Nothing. So when you are in problem, when you are in difficulty, when you do not understand something, come to us. Go to your teachers. Go to Father Melvin. They will help you. The third thing, St. Ignatius told the students, come to us when you are in difficulty. So what is the first point Ignatius said? Yes. First point. No, that's the second point. First point. Ah, we pray for your parents. What's the second point? We love you so much. Third point. Ah, when you are in problem, difficulty, you must come to us. And the fourth point Saint Ignatius told the students is that you must respect your parents. Do you respect your parents? Do you respect your teachers? Do you say thank you to your teachers? Shall we all say thank you teachers? Thank you, Father. Father, said Ignatius to all the students, always to my time, your parents, your teachers, and your principal. And finally, last point, said Ignatius to all the students, that all the students must become students for others. You must help one another. You must love one another. And those who are in high school, 8th standard, ninth standard and 10th standard, India says that you must become man and woman for others. Lastly, St. Ignatius told the students, Happy Feast. Happy Feast. Our school as well as our institution is named after St. Eloise. 
Rakshas Gonzali. Especially our school is known as Gonzali School, right? Yeah. And we celebrate the feast of St. Rakshas Gonzali on 21st of June. We celebrate it last month. We also celebrate another saint's day that is Saint Ignatius of Toyota. We celebrate this feast because he is the founder saint of all the institutions all over the world run by the Jesuits. Run by the Jesuits. If Saint Aloysius Gonzaga is a patron saint of this institution, Saint Ignatius of Toyota is a patron saint of all the Jesuit institutions in the world. He is a great personality. 500 years back he lived. He was born in 1491, died in the age of year 1551. 500 years back and still he is remembered. You know only few great people are remembered in the history. There are very few people are remembered in the world history. In our own country, we have Mahatma Gandhi, Ambedkar, Jawaharlal Nehru, and few others who have given a great contribution. Saint Ignatius of Toyota is one such great person who is remembered in the world history. All of you, especially the secondary students, when you study history, you will come across the name St. Ignatius of Toyota. He is the person who brought about counter-reformation. For this one thing is remembered. Students, can you pay attention to me? Second thing, he is remembered for initiating education in whole of Europe to common people. You know, education was meant for only people who are in the palace, living in the palace, meant for children of kings and queens and noble family. It was not accessible to common people. It is St. Ignatius who opened the doors of institutions or schools for common people. And that is why we have education for all. His members were called the schoolmasters of Europe. We, the Jesuits, were called the schoolmasters of Europe. Why? Because it brought education to common people. Today, if we are enjoying good education, it is because of the contribution of St. Ignatius of Toyota. We should be very grateful to this great man who brought education to the common people. We should never forget this man. And today we are very thankful to us. We remember, we remember this great saint and I am sure all of you, especially class 7 to 11, you have studied the great contribution of St. Ignatius of Toyota and the society which he founded. They are in every field. You are studying for your quiz and I am sure definitely it is an inspiration. One message dear students I want to leave behind, leave to you. After the conversion of St. Ignatius, he wanted to study because he wanted to serve the society. And in order to do that, he had to learn everything. So he had to go to an institution where he had to study. And for your knowledge, just want to tell you, he had to sit with the students who were at the age of 10 to 15 or 18. They were half the year, of half the age of his age. He was 30 already. But his classmates were of 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. But Ignatius 
say never mind. I want to learn Latin. I want to go to the university. I want to be a great person. I want to serve the people. And that is why he sat down among the children. And he went on becoming a great master. We remember this thing because he learned by being very humble. So we can also learn no matter what age or what we have to learn. We can learn anything. So today, beautiful message by the students, St. Ignatius offers to us, no matter what is our age, no matter what we have to learn, we can learn if we have perseverance, if we have determination, if we have passion. Let us have that determination, passion and perseverance and sure we can do anything. We can also walk in the path of St. Ignatius. May St. Ignatius be an inspiration to all of us. Thank you and have a great day. An inspiring speech. Gratitude is the sign of noble souls. I call upon Amy D'Souza of Class 7 to propose a word of thanks. A graceful and warm afternoon from most of the three